Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are talking moving hacks. Recently I just moved and let me tell you the process was stressful but not that stressful because I used all these tips I'm sharing with you today to make the move so much easier. We're going over moving hacks, moving tips, packing hacks, packing tips, and everything in between that you can use to make your moving day, moving month, moving weeks, whatever the case may be, so much easier and stress-free so that you don't want to pull your hair out every second of every day during your move. So let's get into it. The very first tip that I have for you guys is to declutter before you do anything. So when you start your decluttering process, you're going to want to start two to four weeks early to make sure that you have enough time to pack after you declutter. The number one thing that I recommend is to give away and donate, throw away whatever, more than you keep. This will help you be able to pack less and that way whenever you move into your new place, you won't have a bunch of stuff you don't want. The next tip in the preparing process for your move is to make a packing schedule. Packing was harder than unpacking for me and I'm so glad that I made a packing schedule beforehand because this kept me on track and made overall the whole process so much smoother. So here's what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to start packing your least used products in your least used areas of your home first and then work your way up to the most used products and most used things in your home closer to moving day. The most important thing you're going to want to do before you pack anything up is to organize before you pack. So basically, you're gonna wanna make sure that your closet's organized, your drawers are organized. So you're gonna wanna keep all of your t-shirts together, your jeans together, uh, your dresses together, all in one place or like in their designated sections. That way, whenever you pack them, they'll be where they need to be and they'll be all grouped together. And that way, when you move, whenever you're unpacking, you can take everything right out the box or bag, whatever, and put it right where it needs to go without having to dig through anything when packing up the closet. The number one tip that I have to keep the process as simple and painless as possible is to simply just put trash bags over the clothes in their sections and then that way whenever you move all you have to do is take the trash bag right off and you don't have to worry about putting anything on hangers and everything is in its place. Like I said guys it's all about simplicity and making life easier and doing what you can to lessen the workload on yourself for further down the line. Ooh. Okay, so if you've moved before, which I'm pretty sure majority of you have, you know how like you pack your luggage, like you pack a normal suitcase full of clothes that you may be wearing for like a week or two weeks before you get settled in and unpack all of your other clothes. Well, if you're packing your shoes and those, if you typically pack your shoes in the suitcase and you are worried about them getting dirty and messing up your clothes, this hack is gonna blow your mind. So basically all you need is a plastic shower cap and all you're gonna have to do is wrap your shoes in a plastic shower cap. This will keep them separated from your clothes. That way you don't have to worry about them getting dirty. Shower, I think shower caps are literally like a dollar and something at Walmart and it comes with like a pack of like 10 or 20 or something like that. So it's literally perfect. Okay, so moving on to the kitchen area and we're gonna start with dishes. So this quick hack is going to help you keep all of your dishes and plates and things like that from breaking during your move. Okay, so all you're gonna need is parchment paper and you're gonna wrap each dish individually in parchment paper. After you've wrapped them all up, place a piece of parchment paper layer it in between each individual dish and then stack them vertically in your moving box instead of horizontally and this will keep your plates from breaking. If you have your utensils in an organizer, don't take them out. Instead, keep everything in its place and wrap them with saran wrap to keep everything secure. Also, if you have lots of loose knives in your kitchen that aren't like in a container or something, put them in oven mitts to keep your other things protected during the move. If you have lots of spices, which I'm sure most of you do, an easy way to kind of kill two birds with one stone is to pack your spices in a pot or crock pot of some sort. I used a crock pot because they're a little bit bigger, but um, stock pots work really well too. So basically all you have to do is stack them in the crock pot and this will keep you from having to use extra boxes um, on something simple like spices. So one issue that is apparent in pretty much all moves is keeping things from spilling during a move. So I'm gonna show you a quick hack that will help you keep your personal care products 
bath products, cleaning products, whatever the case may be, from spilling in your boxes. All you're gonna need is a Ziploc bag, and what you're gonna do is simply take the top off and place the bag over the product, and then twist the top back on over the bag. Your liquids are spill proof. So one of the worst things that can happen during your move is having a mirror crack or shatter. So in order to prevent this, you're gonna wanna take some tape and make an X over the mirror with the tape. I would do a demonstration, but I cannot find any tape. And so what the tape is going to do is absorb any and all shock from the move that may happen and keep your mirror from breaking or shattering. Organization is literally going to be the key to success for a stress-free and successful move. So let's go over a few organization tips and hacks that will just make your life easier. So you're going to want to pack by room. So here are some tricks that will help you kind of keep things organized room by room. So number one, have a color code for each room. So like your bedroom can be blue, your kitchen can be pink, your living room can be green. Have a color for each room. That way, whenever you're moving from your current home to your next home, you know exactly what boxes go where. And if you have movers or are hiring movers, they'll know exactly what to put where without you having to direct them them every five minutes about where things go. Next, I want you to pack in place. So if you're packing in your bedroom, keep those boxes and pack in your bedroom. And don't take them to the kitchen or the study and things like that. This will just help you stay organized and keep the moving process as clutter-free as possible. The next tip to stay organized during your move is to label and write the contents of your boxes. You can be as vague or as specific as you would like. This way you don't have to dig through a million kajillion boxes whenever you're moving. You'll know what's in the box, know exactly where to find it, and you don't have to go through every single box to find you know your bobby pins or something like that okay so i had to come out to the garage to show you guys one of the boxes that my mom did for the move and literally she wrote every single thing on this box that's in it because when you think about it like you're gonna be so stressed and so crazy you're not gonna know like if you just put like a certain shelf that was in your other house like you're not gonna know what's in it because so much is gonna be going on so if you don't want to have to think about anything i highly recommend just writing everything in there Okay, so it's moving day. Things are hectic, things are crazy. You feel like you're about to pull your hair out, but what do you need? A first day box. So your first day box is gonna have all the essentials that you need for pretty much the first day or the first few days of your move before you're able to get everything unpacked and in its place. So in this box, you're gonna wanna put like your everyday personal essentials, your makeup, your face wash, your body wash, shampoo, conditioner, toothbrush, toothpaste, all those sorts of things. Maybe an outfit or two if you're not into the luggage thing. And then also some cleaning supplies. You may have to do some cleaning on the first day. And the last thing you're gonna wanna do is have to dig around for your cleaning supplies. After we move, the one thing that was really annoying that I didn't realize would be a problem was having to worry about what we were gonna eat every day. It may have just been us, but thinking about what we we're gonna eat for breakfast, lunch, dinner was just too stressful on top of everything else that we had going on. So, about the second or third day in, whenever we realized that it just wasn't working and thinking about that was too much, I decided to make a meal plan for like the first two weeks that we were there. So your meal plan is gonna have basically an outline. It can be as specific as you want or as vague as you want. Um, basically just an outline of what you're gonna be eating each day. And another thing that I think will be super helpful is using like a meal delivery service like HelloFresh or Home Chef to have your meals delivered for it like the first week or so. This way you'll have all your groceries already on hand and you won't have to worry about grocery shopping and figuring out something to cook. So a lot of people I've, or for us at least, we didn't really think about the unpacking until after the, after we had moved in. But it will save you so much stress and so much time if you make an unpacking schedule just like you made a packing schedule whenever you are packing for your move.